Let's get straight to the point. Today we're talking about the Ulanzi and Coman tripod. It's called the Zero Y or the Zero F38. You can get it in two different versions. One with a quick release head, a ball head that um, takes F38 plates, which are like similar to the ones that, you know, Lanzi has on their systems and you can get like, you know, bag clips and a whole variety of different things that work with their F38 system. You can also get a quick release head like this, which takes Arca Swiss, which is really great. If you want to get the ball head by itself, for example, the F38, it's going to cost you $50. And one thing you have to take into consideration is that the Arca quick release plate will work only with Arca. So this plate will only work with the Arca quick release, which is great. Whereas the F38 actual plate will work on the Arca and the F38 plate. So if we kind of slide it out, we can put it in the Arca and clamp it down. And Bob's your uncle, it works. But you can't put the Arca into the F38, right? So just keep that in mind. F38, F38, and Arca, Arca, Arca only. Now, this tripod is a very interesting one because it's carbon fiber and aluminum alloy. And it comes in at $370, which is $10 cheaper than, I'm guessing, what it was kind of, you know, inspired by. So the Peak Design tripod, the aluminium version comes in $380, $10 more than this carbon fiber version, which is really very, very nice. And it's very, very well made. When I took it out of the bag, I was like, whoa. <laughs> Seriously, I'm, I'm a tripod fan. I have actually 99.9% .9 of my tripods are Manfrotto and I love them. But I got this and I was like, whoa. Okay, I could see myself using this and putting it in my you know, bag and traveling it around the world with it. Now, if you want to get the carbon fiber peak design tripod, the travel tripod, it's going to cost you $650. So almost twice as much as what you pay for this. And they're both carbon fiber with aluminum alloy, both very well built because I have used the peak design one in the past. I don't own it, but they're, they're both excellent tripods. Now, the thing is, this one lay, lays, this one weighs less than the Peak Design carbon fiber one. It comes in at 1.1 kilogram, whereas the Peak Design one comes in at 1.29, let's call it 1.3 kilograms. So the Peak Design is 200 grams more than this. Ulanzi and Coleman have done a fantastic job with this tripod. You have three levels of, you know, boop, and then pushing the button, another one, and pushing it again. And you kind of you can almost line up flat. It's actually at about 15 centimeters, the lowest you can get it at. Whereas the peak design is 14, so it's a centimeter lower with the peak design, you know, we're talking about a centimeter, right? The head is really, really simple to remove. Sorry, let me just open up. And that that's how you take out the head. It's it's that simple. And you can you can buy extra, you know, poles which are really cool because you have a hook at the bottom which you can screw out and they thought of everything because you've got a little allen key wrench to tighten anything like if it gets loose so you know sometimes when you have a tripod leg and it gets loose it's because you need to tighten the bolt here and you know i mean that that's fantastic it really is and like i said getting these in and out is as simple as Sliding in the top, and and that's it. You know, you undo it here, you twist it up, and boom, you're in. I mean, fantastic. Both the F38 and the Arc Swiss have bubble levels, as you can see. I don't know if you guys can. Can you see that? Let me just get my head out of the way. There you go. Bubble level, and this one also has a bubble level in a different place, but it does have one. You can vertically set your camera in two ways, which is great because normally it's just one way. And, you know, just generally, it's fantastically made. They sent me another one, a quarter, 20, you know, thing. And th these come in at $30, so it's really, really cheap. If 
you want to go to another level and just make this thing just incredible, you can get yourself a fluid ball head for filming. And, you know, I mean, just undo it and look, it, it is very, very, very smooth. And, you know, it's, it's, it's also got a hidden little magnetic Allen key. It, they, they thought of everything. They literally have thought of everything. And if you want to go to another level, you can pick this guy up, which means that if you slide it in here, slide it in, there we go, lock it down, you turn it into a light stand. So you can, you can have it at its lowest point and you can literally turn this into a light stand. I mean, talk about thinking of everything. They even have a quarter 20 right here. So you can, you know, have attachments, a light, a, a, I don't know, power bank, whatever you guys are into. Now, you also get a bag. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's really nice. It fits perfectly with the head on. It's, it's a very nice, elegant bag. But they also give you free feet, metal feet that, you know, if you're filming or taking photographs in Iceland, in the snow or anywhere like that, you don't want the rubber feet. You need something you can stick in, you know, the ground. You get three of these that you kind of unscrew these, you screw these back in and, and you're done. I mean, now, like I said, the minimum height is 15 centimeters. Now the max height is 130 centimeters with the actual, you know, extension head all the way down. And it's 156 with it all the way up. So 156 is pretty damn high. It's very sturdy. It feels great. It's got all these options you wouldn't believe. The actual U190 fluid head comes in at $50. I mean, that, that's an excellent price. $50 for a head, $50 for the, F38 head. And the actual light pole, if you're looking for this, this is the VC4, you're talking about $80. So it's a little bit more expensive, but it's carbon fiber. It's really nicely made. It's got a quarter 20 on top. It's, um, yeah, very, very nice. You can also stick the little hook at the bottom and have it so, you know, you can attach a little bag or, you know, I was gonna say a flower of sand in it. You can put flour in there. The great thing as well is you can turn all of these upside down and lock them in. So you're in inverted mode, so your camera's looking down. So you're filming like top down stuff, you can put it inverted. Every single thing has been thought about. They're all 360 panorama heads, by the way, just in case you guys are thinking. They've got little, you know, um, degrees on them. So you can, you, can, you can dial everything in with all of these bits and bobs from Ulanzi. So payload. The payload on the two quick release heads is five kilograms max, which is a lot. None of my cameras and lens combinations with monitor go over five kilograms and the fluid head is 10 kilograms. So it's, um, it feels so good. Look at it, see it's got dampening, hydraulic dampening. <sighs> very, very nice. And if you wanna, you know, take off the handle and pack it, you can do. So you can make it really, really small. And you can obviously turn the handle around in different ways. Just, it's 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 a very nicely thought out system. And like I said, the F38 one goes with all their F38 quick release plates. So I really want to thank Ulanzi for sending this out. It's a fantastic system. One that I definitely will be using and I will be traveling with because I don't have, even my Manfrotto travel tripod is a lot bigger than this. So awesome.